Call it out, Allie. Lock it up. Sound ready? Ready. Camera ready? Camera ready. Roll sound? Speeding! Roll camera. Speeding. Pretentious, scene 25R, take one, marker. And she responds asking for the full script, saying she needs to understand the whole character. Points. She being the dumbass that I am, I send her the full script. She then comes back, not with an audition, but with demands on how the character needs to be changed. Uh, I was like, bitch, you don't even have the part yet. Obviously I didn't say it like that, but like, come on, do you think I'm gonna give you the part when you haven't even sent an audition in? Like, she's just gonna have to... What? You literally told Allie we were on a smoke break when she was setting up. Yeah, I meant it like a figurative smoke break, not like a, a literal smoke break. Besides, when did you start smoking anyway? You know that film that I did with Bryce like three months ago? Yeah. Well. We had prop cigarettes, but he didn't think they looked authentic enough, so he traded out the authentic ones with the real ones, so... Price and his realism? Uh, yeah. Well, look, man, you, you shouldn't smoke. It's super unhealthy for it's you, and fine. you're gonna land less parts it's because of it. It's fine. I'm gonna stop after this pack. Well, if you're gonna stop, you should just stop. We'll need you back inside in about five minutes, John. Copy. Thanks, Allie. No problem. Scott, I'll send a PA to grab you when we need you. Got it. Thanks. So you're gonna ask her out or what? Huh? Allie? No, she's the AD. I'm not gonna do that. So what? She's the AD. Well, it just wouldn't look good. It's some professional. I, I wouldn't do it. Okay, we're on set for what? Four more days? Just ask her out after uh, we're Maybe. On set. We'll see what happens. You gotta be more confident, John. I am confident. When on this set have I not been confident? On set, John? Yeah, sure, he's confident. Director John? Confident. Normal, everyday John? Not so much. An everyday regular John is going to be the one asking Allie out. It's not that easy. Sure it is. No, it's just not, though. Just act like you're director John all the time. Well, if I do that, I'll just come off demanding and controlling. You mean more than you already are? <laughs> Shut up. All right, I got to go back in. Oh, and call mom sometime. She says you haven't talked to her in like two weeks. Because I'm on set. I'm in the zone. Yeah, I always find time. Whatever. I always find time. You guys ready? Always ready, Johnny. Call it out, Allie. Lock it up. Sound ready? Ready. Camera ready? Camera ready. Roll sound? Speeding! Roll camera. Speeding. Pretentious, scene 25R, take one, marker. Action. What did you think, Mark? That he wouldn't find out? You're such a little bitch. I can't believe I stick around here. Uh, Amanda, I'm sorry. I truly didn't mean to hurt you. I can change? No, Mark! We're not doing this again. We keep going through this loop over and over again. I'm tired of it. But Amanda, I love you. All right, cut. Hey, Megan, that was really something. I know, I thought it was great. We're gonna do it again, uh, but this next time I just want you to put as much bitterness into your words as possible. Really hit them with them. Make them understand that he's changed, uh, he's, you're leaving, uh, and there's nothing he can do about that until you hear those words that you've always wanted to hear. Sound good? Sounds great. Hi. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. 
What the hell was that? Me? Yes. But Amanda, I love you. Where was the passion, the emotion, the performance? Are you sure you should be talking to me about this right now and not her? Oh, don't worry. She's garbage. Okay. Harsh. This show is riding on you. You are the reason why we're doing this. How the hell am I supposed to sell this as a concept piece if you're coming off super dry? I don't know what you want me to do. You're not directing me. Yes, I am. Just saying more emotion, add some frustration, bigger, faster, isn't doing shit for me, John. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, good. Distract me, please. Okay, uh, you're extremely dry. Um, you realize you're caught. You realize you're screwed, but you're not showing it. You, you need her to stay. You can't let her leave, so you give her exactly what she wants. Let's lock it up. Pretentious, scene 25R, take two, marker. Action. What did you think, Mark? That I wouldn't find out? You're such a little bitch. I can't believe I stick around here. I'm sorry, Amanda, I truly didn't mean to hurt you. I can change. Oh, Mark. I keep going through this loop over and over again. I'm tired of it. But Amanda, I, I love you. Really? Do you mean it? Yes. I don't know what I would do without you. Look. We can fix this together. I know we can. Cut. I love that. You good? Yeah, it looks good. All right, let's move on. Great job, guys. Thank you again, Allie. Today was great. I couldn't have done it without you. No problem. It's my job. Well, you did a great job of it. <laughs> hey, so I know this is a little unprofessional, but I was thinking after all this is over, maybe we could like- Yes! I didn't finish. Yes, I... I'll go out with you. Oh, great, awesome. The, um, yes, let's wait till after we're done to discuss it further. I need your mind focused on these next three days, not what's after it. Right, right. <laughs> Man, you really are an awesome AD. That's why you hired me. Good night, John. Good night, Ellie. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Thanks for encouraging me. <laughs> You're welcome. You really killed that scene earlier. Really? Yeah. You were like on it. I'm really proud of you.